get this started. Thank you for being patient. I had to upload to all the discords that I had, which was a lot. Let's let it do its thing. And uh, I got some materials here. And we can get started. I'm going to start off coloring this little lily pad over here. Hey! Welcome! Let's get some tunes going. And now I edited the slideshow so that it would be a better quality. The other version was kind of blurry, hard to see everything. Yeah, right. It's better to start with colored pencil first than the markers. Hold on, I gotta bring the pencils over to me. Just a second. If you're new here, welcome. I do art and games. Today is art night. And lately I've been testing out my schedule. See what works for everyone. Is this okay or should I turn the lights on? It's okay. I kind of, I'm kind of late, so I kind of understand. situation. Yeah, probably a good idea until I can get my glasses fixed. So did it work? The ping board ping that I was live? I hope it worked. I didn't check. Distraction. Let me move it over. Mm. 
If I had an easel, I could get away with having the fire lights on, but I should probably turn them off for this. again. Cool you down. I might have to take her upstairs if she continues to be this annoying. Fuck. dark from my end. This is why I need a better laptop so that the monitor can be a bit brighter. Thank you, Fide Sacred... Uh, I suck at names, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> to not have my flame wristbands on when I'm working, but I'm getting them cleaned. So how's everybody doing it? Yeah? It's a little dark. Let's see if I can fix it. The problem is that my light is attached to my camera, so one false move and it could come tumbling down like a hurricane. There we go, focus. And we pull up just slightly. And you guys get a little preview of my little fire lights that I have. My little flame lights. I don't mind if it's there as long as it's not in front of my eye view when I'm drawing. Alright. Sounds fair. The fact that people popped in at all makes me happy. And we agreed that we're gonna do Ghost for game night. I chickened out last week because I didn't know that the story was gonna happen right after I finished making the settings. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not ready yet. I have a command for the for the in, for the Discord link. I'm pretty sure. If we don't, I need to make one. Usually, I do about three pieces on a stream. So this is more like a, I do like a warm up coloring and then I do two other colorings because I got a lot to do. <laughs> I kind of have a drawing problem, in case you haven't noticed, drawing problems. Usually I do one new drawing that I did recently, and a backlog of a drawing that I've been meaning to get to, but haven't for some odd reason. Hmm. 
Hmm. And I'm working with metallic colored pencils, Sharpie, and I am trying alcoholic markers today. Emphasis on trying. If I like them enough, I might buy them again. I tried to find the watercolor pens that I used a couple months ago because I really love those. But I couldn't find them. I'm trying to be more social lately on social media with some mixed results. I do like a lot of artwork on Twitter and some people. Some of the gaming side might be a bit offended, I guess. I can't help what I like. I'm a simple woman. I see artwork I like, and I click. Alright. Even if you're just popping in to say hi, it's always good to see everybody. I heard they might add ads in between streams soon, and everybody's having a fit about that. Personally, I really hate it when I get it at the beginning of the stream, because I want to admire all the streamers that I watch, whether they'd be gaming or music related, and then I get an annoying ad. Like, can someone explain to me who Trevor Scott is, or Travis Scott is? I'm completely lost. <laughs> I know, it's weird. I broke my glasses, so they will not be on the stream for a while until I can get the... It wasn't really the lenses, it was like the frames. So... Now you know why I'm not wearing my glasses. Normally I wear them during my stream because even though I can see without them, they kind of enhance everything. So I can draw better. Or color better in this case. I submitted to Artist Alley. Cross your fingers. I have a feeling that I might be selected, but who knows. You have artists that can like paint realistic portraits, and then you got me who does cartoony lily pads. We'll see.
gut. <laughs> I don't like this placement. I need to get used to it. The camera is out of focus. go. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am kind of a dork, huh? I started using the marker on one of the lily pads thinking that it was going to be a fine tip. It really isn't. The fine tip is really, really big. So I'm going to go over it with a light sharpie, a lighter sharpie. And hopefully that will counteract the damage that has been done already. <laughs> I think I've been pushing it a lot more lately again. Cause my arm was shaking the other day. It's weird. I went from having the longest sleep coma in my life to not being able to sleep right these past two days. I guess the smoke has messed with my sleeping schedule in more ways than one. And I just kind of roll with it, you know? I just hope everybody's safe. Got their dogs or cats or whatever pets they have with them. Because I always hear sad stories of pets dying in natural disasters because people don't think about them. That's sad. And yet but okay if you insist Turn up the light a bit brighter than that. Stop it. No, that's color temperature. That's better. I knew I could find it. Alright, 
Be warned. There are there are stupid people out there. <laughs> And by that, I mean people who don't wear a mask. This is for, a, this was for Sketch Timber. It was a day 12 water lilies. I'm a big sucker for Zen Gardens. I love Zen Gardens. They're so pretty. to me. Catch you later. Hmm. All right. I apologize for my heavy eye circles. I'm an animation student, which means I'm always up, which means I might look a bit zombified at the moment. I promise I'll get some sleep soon. Hopefully. and shading. from stealing them. It's very effective. For some reason, my first instinct was to put the deck art games tag. I never thought to put No Big Neil or any of the other communities that I'm in. Don't know why. Alright, see you later. Because we'd be here all day and in so many discords. Traditionally, what I like to do is I like to do a lava break, which is similar to a, the dehydration break, but we stare at my lava lamp. And we watch it move and groove while I sit there and talk to you guys and chat or eat something. 
I don't always remember to eat before stream, so sometimes that happens. There we go. Beautiful. This one I need to finish coloring. An animation class always said, while it is cool to draw in realism, sometimes being simple and complex is better. Think of like how Miyazaki or um, the old Disney films, how they kind of replicated what real life looked like, but not entirely. There was some creative liberty there. I grew up in the Disney Renaissance, which is known as the Little Mermaid and Aladdin and stuff. So. I guess you could say my style is based on that. And various other things like Van Gogh, and Monet, and Bob Ross. Heck, the whole concept of these chill art streams probably wouldn't exist without Bob Ross. Fun fact. I might dress up as him for Halloween if it lands on a Tuesday. That way I could be like, hey, I'm Kira Ross. Thank you for joining with me today. break right now and rest my wrist a little bit. I draw all the time, so here we go. Lava break. Should I have a should I have a name for my lava lamp? I'm thinking emerald. Pope not sponsored, but totally could be sponsored. I'm just gonna do some wrist exercises real fast. Then we can get back to coloring, I promise. Stretching is good for the soul. It relieves negative energies. Big believer in that. I try to meditate when I can. Alright, back to the piece. I don't need super long breaks as I'm used to working a lot, so. Yeah, when I saw that Twitter post of Twitch doing TwitchCon still, but at home, just like the Comic Con at home, I got really excited. I was like, what, really? So cross your fingers that I get picked. This will be my third time being at an artist alley. Sadly, I didn't have any time to prep my prices, so... I'm going to set up my Kofi for commissions if uh, I get picked. And you can just, I don't know, <laughs> help a girl out. Pen sets can cost up to 80 bucks. Yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> So 
So when it comes time to choosing between getting a game or getting new pens if I need them, I typically go for new pens. But when Ghost came out and Pro Skater came out, I'm like, I am getting those games. I don't care if I need like 50 pencils right now. <laughs> And then I have a mobile version of Among Us. I could try that out and see if it, I don't know if it works cross-platform or if I need to set up my laptop for Among Us, but since the Fall Guy stream seemed to be doing really well, I could try Among Us. Or Marbles. I'm going to have some way of getting you guys involved. Sitting there just watching me color probably isn't a good highlight of your night. I try to make them as relaxing as possible, but... Oh gosh. Reach. Actually, I'm going to bring the other cup over to me. I have three cups full of pencils. And then I have another trunk full of other pencils. So, I'm not gonna run out of art supplies for this. Pampers. Oh, uh oh. Ad break. I swear, when I get a job, the first thing I'm gonna get is like a premiere membership to like one of the music stream things so that I don't have to get ads all the time. Super annoying. Should I play the alert? The alert happened before I streamed, so... Can I replay it or... No. I don't know, I'm still learning how to twitch. I've been doing this for two years and it's only me and Nick. I don't have any like tech personnel on here. Here we go. Beautiful. Alright. I swear we'll have the music back soon and it's not gonna be just the dogs scratching themselves. Stop that. Hey. Hey you. You too. Stop. <laughs> Wanna say hi to everyone, Pearl? This is Pearl. Say hi. Say hello. Pearl says hi. Hi, Pearl. Hi. How are you doing today? Yes. <laughs> okay, get him. Get him. Get him. Alright. I'm thinking that I might do some practice free skate sessions before I do pro skater again. I need to practice a bit more. I thought I was ready. I did a practice pre skate before I did the stream, but <laughs> bit out of practice. Where oh I was about to say, where did my metallic pencils go? I could have sworn there we go. I'm gonna do little rock stone things. <sighs> Eight years of art college only to call rock faces rock things. Proof that school doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. 
Alright, music's back. Apparently, my shade style is called the Da Vinci. That means I shade in color like how Leonardo da Vinci colored. That's pretty humbling. Not really. Wonder if Leonardo da Vinci was a lefty too. Probably. We'll never know. Lefties were considered evil back then, so some Lefties probably had to pretend they were right-handed. That would have sucked. And you might have noticed something different. Back when I did the Blood Pumpkin stream, I had to lower my laptop desk down. Normally it's raised, but I kind of like it down, so I kept it down. And it's much easier to maneuver the sketchbook now. I remember my sketchbook would slide off all the time. Yeah. Yeah, pretty proportionate. It's a little off center. That's okay. You see, I don't really use a ruler. I use my eyes, and sometimes that works, and sometimes uh, you don't want to know how many how many paper balls I made. One time I went through half a sketchbook because I just was trying to force myself to draw and it came out kind of janky. circle method, but I will admit it kind of works. There's more than one way to shade with a colored pencil, but everybody seems to prefer the circle method, so that's what I do. Like when I did my iconic crystal roses, the one that's my Twitch banner and the banner for this channel, that took me three weeks to work on because I did it with Prismacolor on a huge paper in class and I think we were supposed to do something surreal and I was worried I wasn't gonna pull it off because it was a pretty big idea I had never drawn crystals before that despite my online name at the time and now well, I've drawn a crystal cave recently. And then, um... I don't really have subscri subscriptions open quite yet, because I'm not quite affiliated yet, but... Um, I created a channel on my Discord called the Crystal Cove, and that's where you can go if I'm live and you want to chat with each other about the stream. And then Campfire Chat is literally just general, like... I literally put in a kumbaya, I don't literally want to put a kumbaya, uh, command in there. That'd be funny. Um, why campfire? 
Because I love camping and fire and obviously not right now because I don't like it when fire destroys. I like it when fire warms people's hearts and whatnot. <laughs> or when idiots use it for idiotic things. <laughs> like recently. There's a Zen speech somewhere in between that rambling. <laughs> and you can add little water droplets to the... It's easier to do this post drawing because when I sometimes when I actually add the water droplets in the drawing it doesn't look quite real. So what I do is I blend it in when I color. And it works. Here, let me just lower it down just a tad bit so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. It's probably looks super small. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Gosh, the clamp. Hold on. There we go. Saved. I have to be really careful because the camera is on my circle light, so I have to be careful. I need to get another clamp because this is ridiculous. There we go. I'm not going to do it on every pebble, uh, petal because then it won't look, the effect won't look real enough. Do it every other petal. Or have one dripping, like that. I'm super hyped for another Connor Army Art Month. I'm very curious to see what the prompts are so I can work on them. Most of the prompts have made it into my slideshow, but there are a couple that I felt didn't deserve to be in the slideshow because, I don't know, bad line work. <laughs> Also, I did the slideshow on my phone, and my phone doesn't have a lot of space left. Too many apps. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Hold on. I don't want a huge halo behind me either. Pointed at the drawing, not at my face. Here, let me just move my face cam a bit. Maybe that will work. Yeah, it kind of works. I don't always draw plants, but it seems to be a main thing that I draw a lot. That and character art, like... Portraits of fictional characters or characters of my own. Oof. It's super hot in here. All right.
And I didn't forget the actual teardrops I added in the drawing. I'm just trying to make it seem less random. There we go. Not bad. Okay, so for the bigger areas, I'm going to go to the pens. This was um, recommended to me, the alcohol markers, so let's try to use them. Not bad. And I like the color, uh, the color variants, how it's really bright and vivid. It fits my style pretty good. You just have to be a bit careful. What am I saying? This is water. Water is a lot more crazy than you think. Otherwise we wouldn't have tsunamis. I need a refresh chat. Oh, music's back. Good, I'm starting to get bored. <laughs> Not that this is boring, but it can get kind of tedious without some music. This is just the first layer. I usually do water in three layers. So it looks more authentic. And then I'll decide what I can do with the rest of the background. Pretty sure I'm just gonna add a night sky or blue sky or something. Sorry, I'm autistic slash have ADHD, so I might shift around in my seat every once in a while. Or I have these little ticks where sometimes I'll scratch my head or take off my headband and put it back on. <laughs> Things like that that I need to work on. Whew. 
pretty good. I feel like I'm rushing the water a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! Unintentional pun is unintentionally funny. trying to figure out um, how to uh, do Twitch things again because apparently I tried to sign in the other day and it just wasn't working. I hope to do another Twitch things episode soon. We'll see how it goes. I'm sad to see the application go because I feel like there's a bit of potential, but I kind of get it. Twitch would be kind of be hypocrites if they kept the Twitch Sings application with their new rules. I miss playing ACDC or Metallica. Sometimes I would play music from my favorite anime. <laughs> I managed to trick the Twitch system once that I was probably playing Fall Guys or something. When I played the Fall Guys theme when I was coloring, um... The Fall Guys the other day, but then it wasn't fooled. Ooh. See this? The I call this the point of no return. It's where if you accidentally color outside the lines that you yourself have set then it's forever because you cannot wipe pens away there are some erasable pens I take that back but I don't work with erasable pens yet we'll see so far I'm pretty impressed a lot of reach, the colors are bright and show up really nicely. There are some pens that are faded and don't show up all that well unless you use a lot of pressure, but I'm hardly using any pressure and it's showing up pretty well. So thank you, Key, for the recommendation. slight uh coloring error there but fairly noticeable see all better <laughs> Getting kind of tired, but whatever. We'll press on. Alright. 
The reason why I started with this one is because it's kind of a smaller piece compared to the rest of the works that I've done. Ooh, kind of blew through a little bit, but... That's okay. Sometimes I bleed through a little bit, but with a little bit of coloring you can barely notice. Or I just cover it up entirely. Okay. Time to use the metallic blue. And this will give it a shiny look. It will make it look like sparkling blue water. Huh. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be. At least that means it will show up. Music's back. I'm just gonna make it a little bit lower than it was. Cause the concentration. And what's funny is during one of my Fall Guy streams, I was, I was like, I need absolute concentration. There's no way I'll fail rollout if I have absolute concentration. I fell over. <laughs> oh, there's too many things on this desk right now. I nearly knocked over the... There we go. Here, I'm going to turn the face cam a little bit so you can see me I'm a little on the edge here. Oh, then there goes our issue that we had earlier. There we go. It's better. I'm not quite sure what to do with these colored versions of Sketch Temper, and I'm not even sure I'm going to color all the flowers that I did, just the ones that I feel like would look cool colored. I might put it underneath the original tweet, but then that will get annoying for some people, I think. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what to do. I decided to make the Sketch Temper a thread just to test it out. I will say it's a bit more convenient to have one drawing after another as opposed to just posting them individually like I had them before. But we'll see. I like to post two drawings a day because it's a nice even number and people get good content out of it, hopefully. 
It really depends on my mood. If I'm not feeling good mentally, chances are my artwork isn't gonna be super great. If I have a, if I, if my art looks slightly off, that's when you know to ask if I'm okay. <laughs> Are you alright? dark around the middle. You probably can't see that, but it's kind of dark. And that's pretty normal for water, just like it's normal for skin. When we were learning how to draw self-portraits, they said you're probably going to use all the colors of the grayscale, including black. Especially around the underneath the neck, which is a lot darker than people think it is. And since I'm kind of new to managing a Discord, I have no idea how to add new categories or what. I added a bot to make sure it knows when I go live and I don't even know if it worked. I'm pretty sure it might have worked. If it worked, more people would be here. I don't know. I think it's safe to say it didn't work. Wait, let me check. Maybe it did. Maybe it's just a slow day today. That happens. Technology, but there are some things I still don't understand. <laughs> That's what I usually have Nick here for, but he's got other stuff to do. He's got a test, and so I'm letting him go. Want a break from the ads? If you tap now. Sorry. I uh, started opening a Kofi or coffee recently and it will have all my completed works on it only. I will leave my Instagram and Twitter for my YPs and since I mostly post work in progress and leave the actually complete work while I'm streaming, <laughs> you know. It'll give people motivation to probably check out my Kofi, I guess. It's also what I posted to my submission for TwitchCon. Knowing full well that I kind of have messy YPs on my Twitter and Instagram. I recently did a meme. I mean, I literally drew a meme. I've been in a meme meme mood lately, so I drew this. This is the Drake meme, only it's a fall guy. It's like all posting memes normally. It's like, nah. 
And then one of them says, drawing it like a boss. And then I looked up how to draw the um, winking emote from uh, Fall Guys. I just saw the opportunity and it just came to me. It was a weird inspiration. But it worked. Kind of. It did result in some people leaving my Instagram, but I don't care. I was having fun drawing it. That's what matters. I guess I'm in the shitposty mood lately. <laughs> Never really saw myself as a, as a meme poster. Poster, but uh, sometimes you're in a meme mood, you know? One person asked if I was going to do the crying cat or the, what is it, the sad cat? I might. <laughs> that might be a fun challenge. When you see that your favorite artist has open commissions but you're poor as hell, sad cat emoji. <laughs> I think if I did do commissions, my starting rate would be like five bucks because I know how it feels to not be able to afford something. So. Obviously, I'd probably rate the graphic art at 15 because I do spend like half a day working on my edits, even if sometimes it doesn't look like it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Pearl. She's got like her head up against the door. One of these days I might do a tour of my office, a 360 degree tour, like uh, like M MTV Cribs or something. It's like, I'm Fry Crystal 192 r and this is my crib. <laughs> An outdated reference that some of you may or may not get. <laughs> I definitely think I need the alcoholic markers for this one. It's not showing up. I am literally having muscle spasms right now. That's not a good sign. If you want to get into drawing, be warned of overworking yourself. Don't be like me. Be smarter. <laughs> Take breaks if you need to. Sometimes I'll just sit there and draw all day, no exaggeration, with no stops. Like, I will draw the next three days of my two, two artworks in the span of one day, so six drawings in one sitting. I've been making them smaller lately so that I don't overwork myself. That's why my drawings have gotten into this more comic booky frame style. Plus I like it, you know? It kinda has its charm. As a comic book slash manga fan, yes it's manga not manga. I love you. 
Oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't make any higher Harry Potter references right now. Kind of a touchy subject. I do not approve of what she's doing either, by the way. Trans women are women. Black lives matter. And autism is not a disease. As someone who has autism myself, I find it very offensive. When someone says, oh, that cop is obviously mentally ill. Not all mentally ill people are violent. Pass it on. Alright. Hmm. Now, the more logical choice would be to choose blue because that's what color the sky is. But the artist in me wants to make the sky purple. Is there a purple here? Is this purple? Hold on. Let me do like a little stitch at the corner. Is that purple? It looks more like a royal blue, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm colorblind. Let's see. No, it's purple. It just looks a lot bluer in the light. What I'm probably going to do is do what I did with my tea night. I'm probably just going to add some purplish clouds. Or purple clumps that kind of, or in the shape of clouds, is, I need to do a cloud study. And sorry I haven't been making it to some people's streams. I have a weird schedule and sometimes 11 a.m. is super, super early for me. That's why I was surprised when I made it to the Curiosity stream today. Even if it was just to say hi so that I could pass out. <laughs> it was kind of surprising. As I haven't been able to make it to a curiosity and chill stream since my OCF days where I had to get up at 6 a.m. No, my Great America days, that's right. The Trick Become Human wasn't a thing in my OCF days, that was a... Uh... Alright, let's see. There's a purple. So I guess I just did kind of royal blue clouds. And that's kind of cool. An accidental masterpiece. Happy accidents. I'm probably going to use the smaller side so that I can still use the metallic. I'm going to go lightly. nervous. There we go. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to use the metallic pink, but we'll see. This 
is a pretty trippy sky, but I kind of like it. Not my usual thing, but maybe that's a good thing. So I did a social experiment last week where I did two gaming videos instead of and one art video. So this week I'm probably going to try to do two art videos and one gaming video just to see how you guys kind of react to see if I can add, squeeze an extra day in. And if you guys absolutely hate it, I'll go back to doing five days art and two days of streaming because I don't know. I've been trying to promote myself these past few days to encourage people to uh, to get my art seen in case the Twitch people look up my Twitter and they go, hey, maybe she'd be good at um, Artist Alley. Also, maybe some new followers would want to see some artwork they haven't seen before. I know art shares are kind of annoying sometimes, but they're kind of beneficial for an artist. As Twitter's algorithm makes it really hard for us to be seen compared to the gaming streams, streamers. I stream games too, so technically that counts me in too. But I also stream art and I'd like people to see it. Sue me. <laughs> Don't sue me. Okay, I'm moving the clamp. This is ridiculous. Oh shit. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> much trouble with my clamp. I might have to raise the lap bar up again because it held my... I kind of held everything together and without it, I kind of have to get a new clamp. Here, hold on. Bear with me. Technical issues are bound to happen on a stream, we all know this. I can't, the cord's not gonna reach. If I put it here. Sorry. 
right there. Adjustments are bound to happen when you move your desk around. And I will be sure to make the adjustments on stream next time. Off stream, I mean. Not on stream. Sorry, I'm a bit unprepared today, I guess. guys for bearing with me on this. I know it's a bit odd. The stream is odd. I will admit that. I'm not as put together. It took me so long to get used to the old setup and now that I've set it up differently I have to get used to it. Alright. Back to status quo. So what I'm going to do is, first off, maybe strain me. It's a bit curved. It's bothering me. Sorry. I'll curve it more. Shit. Sorry, my OCD brain wants things to be in order and... I realize it's messing up the order of the stream and you guys are seeing really bad camera angles. I don't blame you for I'm following right now, honestly. But hopefully you re-follow when I get situated, right? <laughs> Kidding. supposed to be now so there won't be this issue again next week hopefully she says while well, punching her jaw hoping for a miracle <laughs> now so that's good honestly this is the first problems that I've had on an art stream in a while so kudos for that at least when it comes to camera wise oftentimes the issues with my art streams are not having the right color because I ran out or the camera not focusing
There's a super awesome streamer who streams portraits of cats and dogs. He was having internet issues, so I don't know if he's streaming now. I hope that he got it situated, but his name is Freakmeister1, and he's just an amazing artist. What the heck it is it is showing my it is showing my recommended feed but not who I'm actually following and I have a hard time believing that nobody that I follow is streaming is I mean I have a hard time believing that people who I'm following are not streaming at least one it's a weird glitch all right, back to the metallic colors. So, I've always been really fascinated by things that were shiny. And I can't achieve the metallic look without metallic pencils. I've done it before. What you have to do is you have to combine Sharpie with regular ball point and it will give you the same effect but I don't know there's something charming about the metallic pencils you know So I was thinking about getting glow-in-the-dark paint so that I can sell $20 prints because they'll be in, because they'll be, you know, glowing in the dark. I said, how can I ever finish that in a more lame way than what I just did? Because they'll be glowing in the dark and that's badass. I sound like the the rambling uh the the rambling improv that uh, Justin Roiland does when he do, when he voices Rick and Morty. Listen, listen, Morty, you, you gotta help me. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. It's hard to do my Rick impression when I'm tired, but normally I can do a better Rick impression than that. have a command for you guys to remind me to put the pens caps back on because I have a habit of having to get new pens because the caps I didn't put the caps back and that's a shame you wouldn't want that to happen now I'm not sure which yellow I should go with Alcohol yellow is not going to show up. What about... I might have to go colored pencil for this. Okay, the Sharpie yellow kind of shows up, but... It's kind of a muted color. I kind of like that. We can work with this. I've been trying to avoid, I've been trying to avoid story games for a while, but I may pick one back up again. 
I still haven't finished Days Gone. That's kind of why I didn't want to do Ghost of Tsushima yet. It's like I haven't even finished games I started like a year or two ago. Let alone games that just came out. What I'm probably gonna do is add a little halo of yellow over here. To show that the last light of day is... to be more subtle, but now I have to improvise. That happens sometimes. Sometimes the color is stronger than you expect in the coloring, and then I have to work around it. A lot of this is improv. A lot of this is just me figuring it out what I want the piece to look like. Oftentimes I have to fix some pieces on stream because I off stream because I uh, used weird combinations <laughs> of colors. Like when I used the bronze color with the sky blue for my fall guys thing. It's like bronze metallic sharpie is cool, but not the way I used it. My, my uh, dad, he works up this 3D printer company, and I was thinking maybe, maybe his company might have a Fall Guy uh, statue and that I could paint. I saw some on Etsy, but I might feel a little bit bad about painting over them because someone made those. And I'm sure that's what they're made for, but I, feel I would feel guilty to paint over someone else's work. I don't know. That's kind of how I felt about the pumpkin at first. But like, that's why it's in a craft store, so it can be used. Especially since I got some flack in some Discord servers over my edits about whether or not they're mine. Graphic design is sort of a gray area when it comes to art. Some people consider it art, and some people just see it as a way of Getting emotes. <laughs> I don't- I wouldn't mind doing emotes, but my laptop is not the best. It can barely handle the art streams. So maybe someday I'll be able to do emotes. But I'm saying this because I've gotten requests to do emotes for people. And I'm more than happy to oblige once I have the proper software. Depending of the, depending on the complexity of the emote, I'd probably start at one dollar maybe per icon. So if you wanted me to do all fifty, it would be fifty dollars. Sounds fair. was a good choice, but nothing I can do about it now. I'll just have to improvise on how to fix it. I mean, it's not entirely bad. It has like this like, um, orangey hue to it combined with the pink and the... There we go. This sky is going to look really weird, but I kind of like that.
And I just want to say thank you to all those who support me no matter what I do, no matter if I do games, no matter if I do art, no matter if I do a karaoke stream. It means a lot to me that some people are willing to uh, accept me for who I am. That has not always been the case. In a lot of ways, it still isn't. But... Uh, that's what I have you guys for. And I'm sure you've heard this speech a lot from various other creators, but I truly mean it in stuff. Every bottle of Mike's Heart Lemonade uh -huh. has flavors that make Friday oh, night Jesus excited, Christ. like firing up the grill. <laughs> and I drew a line on myself. Sadly, it was not all yellow. Sorry, bad pull play joke. I drew a line and it was all blue. I'm um, blue, ba ba dee da ba da da. Alright. So, let's see the big reveal. I usually do this. I usually pull back and show people what the coloring looks like after it's done. It's kind of awkward at this angle. Here, big reveal. Sorry, I can't show it to you in a better way without. Here. Thought we were done with the camera issues, but I guess not. That's what happens when you attach it to something that was meant for a cell phone. I had to get creative, quite literally. Okay. Big reveal. Actually, I think I'd add a bit more yellow. Now that the silver is there to counteract it, it kind of has a interest to it. There's something about that yellow. It really boggles my mind, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the impressions. I've always wanted to begin to voice acting, so I've practiced weird accents like a New Yorker accent and stuff like that. I know they probably don't actually talk like that. But I'm going by my love of film, so <laughs> don't take offense. There you go. Pull back. Pull back. Big reveal. Ta-da! Looks nice. Oh, I forgot to color the other rock. Darn it. The rock that actually has my signature on it. Spoiler alert. I do, I have been taking artistic liberties with where I put my signature now. I used to just put it on the lower left corner. I don't know why there specifically, but I always put it there for some reason. And, uh... I wonder what that says about your personality as an artist if you put it, put it uh, in a certain area. I wonder what that says. I know sometimes the psychology behind stuff like that can be a bit of a blarky, but... There's some truth to some of it. Sorry for the angle. I'm just going to make the signature lightly. I'm going to cover it up with the silver again. So it'll look like it's engraved in stone. Like it belongs there, you know? Uh, uh. 
Now I'm going to move on to the second piece. Um, I think that will be the end after that. I usually do two pieces of artwork. I actually, um, blah, blah, I usually do three pieces of artwork, but my hand is getting tired and I'm going to probably choose something small. Smaller than this, I mean. I have a couple of smaller artworks that I've done that I didn't get the color. And so we'll get to those. Let me get something from the... There might be something in the sketchbook. We'll see. Let me take a look. There's this Among Us that dude that I that I edited in Pixar Studio today. We could color him traditionally. And see what you guys prefer. It's kind of faded because the ink was running out on the pen, so I had to improvise. <laughs> Once again, there's that word. You know what? Let's go out with a bang. This one I call Curiosity and Chill because Brian Deckart, the guy who plays Connor in Detroit Become Human, he has a channel of his own called Deckard Games, and if you've seen my activity, I sometimes watch them. They're a nice group of, they're a couple actually, and they were actually in the game together. They do the ch Curiosity and Chill, they actually did it today. Um, they usually stream it super early for me, which is like 11 or 10 o'clock, so... 10 o'clock my time, 10 a.m. my time, but, um, this is basically, like, I don't know, random stuff you might learn in the thing, like crystals or trees. They have, like, this spacey backdrop during the stream, so I kind of use that as inspiration, and then, yeah, so... Hmm. How are we going to do this? Crystals can be various different colors. And I could go super meta and just do, go super crazy and do different colors for crystals. Or I could use the same color. Normally when I do a crystal cluster, I do the same color. But there are some crystal clusters that have mismatched colors. True fact. I have studied geodes, books on geodes for years and years. There's a reason why I admire crystals quite a bit. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm thinking. What color would be good for a black backdrop? I'm thinking purple. Alright, purple. Purple or a really bright green. Almost like it's glowing in the dark. Now that would be awesome. And it just so happens I have some neon green here with me. I have some glow in the dark paint too. You know, put it on the picture next time. Sorry, let me get my, let me put the music back on. I just work better with music. It's a fact. Alright. So, let's begin this piece. I don't know if I'm going to finish it all tonight. I usually try to finish a piece all in one night. But, because I don't like doing a, the same piece multiple times, you know, we all have our paces. I'm not picking on the art streamers that work on a piece 
for nights on end. I wish I had that kind of discipline. For me, I'm just like, let's get done. I gotta bring the camera down this way. And I'm gonna tilt it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me just tilt the whole desk at this point. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's like, duh. So, I think I might do, I might do the different colored crystals. These are going to be emeralds. And then I might do sapphires and rubies. Told you I know my crystals. Okay, that's an ad. Is it just me or does Spotify and Pandora have more ads than they used to? They gotta stay afloat with the pandemic somehow, I suppose. And hopefully, despite a few hiccups with the camera, I think this art stream's going pretty well. So I hope that it actually, that the VOD actually um, loads, because a week or two ago, I was working on a piece, and I liked how it came out and everything, but the video would not export to YouTube. It just kept processing, and I don't know what happened. But, we'll dust ourselves off and start over, I guess. You know what's funny is they were actually talking about, um, Venus today. Venus is one of my favorite planets. I don't know why exactly. I mean, it's pretty and dangerous and I kind of like pretty and dangerous things. <laughs> so there's the emeralds. Not bad. I really like how the alcohol markers kind of... I might get more of these. Alright. Um... Then I'm gonna do why not some pink crystals? Why not? This will add interest and I feel bad despite me being a color streamer that I don't have a lot of color art to share during the art shares. Because I draw because I draw and prepare ahead, way ahead, I have more line art than I do colors. Isn't that ironic? So when someone was asking for color art on an art chair, I was like, uh, uh, this one, and this one. <laughs> just want to say thank you to anybody who uh, stayed and supported the stream. Also, um, I might start doing some charity streams, like art for charity, maybe. I've always wanted to do a charity stream. In fact, I wanted to do a charity stream about my disability on the Awareness Day, but 
it, they weren't on Tiltify, and I had to go through this whole application process just to add them on Tiltify, and it kind of fell through. Which is kind of a shame. Because I wanted to target that specific disability. But I guess I could have done Autism Speaks instead. Here we go. Alright, back to the music. It's funny, whenever I do these color streams, my hand ends up looking like an art project. <laughs> Alright, maybe add some orange crystals. Just go nuts with the colors. So I have a feeling this might be a very important piece to somebody. And this orange is brighter than I expected. But I kind of get why Jazzo uses these. I get it now. Before I'd be like, what is your obsession? Alcoholic markers, Jazzo. So there's this light sky blue color. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do purple. I'm just going to do purple for the rest of it. Or one half purple and one half navy blue. I think that will work. As for when to send the link when I go streaming, I don't know if I should send the link before my stream, like what I've been doing, or if I should send it while I'm sitting there on, on the chair. I never know these things. And a lot of people said I should advertise a few hours beforehand so that they know. Maybe I'll start doing that, but I'm not sure. I decided to do more crystal uh, artwork for obvious reasons because duh, my name is Crystal Art. Why don't I have more crystal art? Well, it's just the name of my character. The mascot for my channel is named Fire Crystal. But I might start doing more crystal art because. The idea sounds very appealing.
It's a little bit crooked, but we kind of lost some of the line art with the coloring and that's bound to happen. What we'll do is a second layer to kind of bring it back, so to speak. Sometimes I have to redo the line art to get it to come back. I kind of want to be a concept artist in an animated film because they don't have to worry about being super neat with their sketches. They can be as messy as they want and the, the cleanup sketches go to the cleanup artist. Dang it. And as I was saying, the cleanup sketches go to the cleanup artist. And the cleanup artist will clean up, you know, the sketches. I always feel so stressed out when I do a super neat artwork like this with all these little intricate details. Don't get me wrong, they're fun, but they're also very stressful. Much like playing a difficult game. Fun, but stressful. <laughs> so, wish me luck on getting into Artist Alley for TwitchCon. If I do get in, it will be my first TwitchCon, like, ever. I wish I could say it was meeting with... I wish I could say it was in person meeting you guys, but maybe that will be for next year. I'm just going over the little lumps and details of the crystals. Crystals are very, very intricate. Okay, so that's the crisp that's the purple crystal side. I will go back and add metallic color or some kind of shine variant gradient later. Here's the blue. You expected me to do red crystals, huh? Bet you thought I would. Maybe I'll add a couple of reds just like on the bottom maybe. Just as a way of saying, huh, I get it. Hold on to the paper. Oh. That's the problem of being too careful with pen is sometimes it won't come out if you're if you don't have enough pressure. There we go.
This will be a very interesting VOD to watch later on with my camera issues, but it is what it is. music watch it's gonna be another ad break because I can never catch it in time for there to actually be music Figure out a way to make this freaking work.
Sorry, that took a big concentration moment. So I was trying not to talk in case I ended up slipping up That's somehow. Make my skin feel healthy and hydrated. Oh my god. Okay. And voila! There is our crystal cl cluster. I almost said something else. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Get demonetized. <laughs> That's okay, I don't make any money off my VODs anyway. True fact. <laughs> For now, at least. There you go. I redefined it so you guys should be able to see the lines somewhat clearly than you did a couple minutes ago.
stomach growling, hard to concentrate on peace. Ugh. All right. I think I think I'm going to um end it here. I've been streaming for two hours. Wow. Um. Thank you to anybody who came. I will try to finish this tomorrow, maybe. Normally I wait until next week, but since this is a very, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I could still work on this. Because I'm not one to quit just because it's been two hours, because that's crazy. Everyone remembers my four-hour art stream, right? No? It was pretty epic. Sorry. I'm glad I can't see what I'm doing. I need to get better. I keep saying that, but... That was hard to tell where to put the camera. This is why I don't like to do big pieces like this. I like to do like small um, framed ones. Not a big panoramic shot because my camera's where my camera is is just you, it's impossible to see everything. Not bad.
I actually had metallic Sharpie and oh, I actually had metallic Converse before. They weren't gold like when I just made these. They were pink. I'd love to get another pair. They were cool. Shoes are not my forte, I'm sorry. Let's see. Maybe add a little bit of orange. For the shoes, I think. As good as I think I can make them. Shoes are not my the focus of this piece, so hopefully no one will notice that some laces are gone. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for coming to my stream. I think I'll finish this up maybe off stream or next week. I'll be sure to post the progress. Maybe work in progress so you guys can see what it looks like. But, uh, 
I really wanted to finish this all in one go, but my hands are starting to hurt, and I'm really tired, and I'm sure that you guys got better things to do than to watch me color all night. And, uh, I hope you create and inspire. Thank you. Appreciate you. See ya.